Memory, let's discuss some tricks that help us remember details that seem on the surface quite meaningless. And these are the mnemonic devices. A lot of the memory books that you see for sale on Amazon, so they're written by people who are memory champions. The things that these people are really good at in these memory competitions are things that you hope you never have to become good at because the people who design these memory competitions are very aware of the fact that things you already know about what you're trying to learn make it easier or more difficult to, to learn the new content. So I think I give the example in the book. Suppose that we're trying to have a memory competition. I have 10 people who come in and I say, you've got an hour to memorize as much of this F. Scott Fitzgerald novel as you can, this side of paradise. Well, obviously someone who's read the book before is at an advantage, right? And so because the people who set up memory competitions are aware of this, they give people memory tasks where no one can possibly know anything about the content to be memorized. So it's something like they'll take a deck of cards, they'll shuffle it, and then you have to memorize the order of the cards. So this is completely meaningless content. And mnemonics are the main way that memory champions succeed in memory tasks like this. So one of the best known techniques is the memory palace, where you take, uh, most people will use like a walk. You take a, a walk that is already very familiar to you. So it might be like, I go out my front door and the first station is my front porch and there's you know a pillar that needs to be repaired. And then I walk down my driveway and I look at my pear tree, which is kind of not looking very well, but sick and so on. So what you do is you have these stations in your walk that are going to be cues. And so the first is the broken pillar. And so whatever it is you're trying to memorize becomes associated with the broken pillar. The next thing is going to be the pear tree that looks sickly. And I associate item number two with the pear tree. This is a very effective way of committing information to memory that's meaningless because it uses visual mental imagery. Uh, and that's helpful for reasons we could go into. It only works for certain types of content. If it's content that's difficult to create visual mental images of, then the, you know, the memory palace is not going to be very successful. And again, I'll, I'll repeat what you said. Like, this is your last resort. If you, know, if you possibly can, make the content meaningful. And it's going to be, there, there are other techniques I would use. But if, if you're stuck, then memory palace is, is a good way to go.